Gross here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's Marilyn Manson with Tourniquet. Her request of Crimson Toxic. Is it Crim Crimson Toxic 7? Something like that? Anyways, he's got a lot of effects going on. Was this John 5? I don't remember. But uh, one thing that's different, Manson would change his tuning. This is actually standard tuning. It's either standard or drop D, because I don't even think he's playing the low E, at least for most of the song. So um, I've got some crazy effects on it. It's not the same effects he's using, but it's still kind of crazy. Um, after I show you this start riff, um, he hits this note, he'll go... And then right after that, I don't know if the guitar cuts out or it's playing a melody line with the keyboard. So what I'm going to show you a trick um, that Eddie Van Halen used to do using the volume knob with his pinky. It gives you kind of a violin, real subtle sound, so it's kind of cool. So let's do this. Um, middle finger, you're going to pick and bend it a half step. I like to use two fingers on that, you know, for strength. Pick and bend a half step. Half step is one fret. As you're holding it in, pick it again. And then release it to its original pitch. Then go open G. Leave it ringing and then hit the open G after that. So you have the two notes with each other. And then, uh, 3D again. That's the hook of the whole song, guys. Okay, so he'll do that a bunch. And then when it does change, I'll show you this little violin type technique with the pinky. Pick the third fret or 5th fret on the D with your 3rd finger. Don't use the volume knob yet. Then turn it down with your pinky. Pick the 3rd fret on the G with your 1st finger. Pick and then slowly with your pinky. Raise that volume. So we have... Then back to 5D. Volume off. Pick and raise it. Turn the volume off. Go uh, third, back to the third fret. G. Pick. Raise the volume. Volume off. Back to 5D. Pick that. First finger now though. Then middle finger 6G. Volume off, right? Pick. Slowly raise the volume. Third finger 7G. Volume off. Pick. Raise the volume. And then 3rd fret G, volume off, pick, raise it. And the cool thing is, man, when you run these effects and delays and stuff, you don't hear the... If I didn't have the effect on, it wouldn't. the impact wouldn't be the same. When I'm shutting that volume off, you still got these echoes and different effects running. So, it's a cool technique. Anyways, that's it, man. Lots of fun you could do with effect units, that's for sure. This is uh, called Lava Flow on my Rocktron Expression. So, Crimson, your perseverance paid off again. Hope this helps you. Anyone else that tuned in, hope it helps you as well. If you have questions, leave it on the comment section of this video lesson. Uh, YouTube.com slash Rockin' Guitar Lessons 1. Subscribe, guys. Why not? You get accurate transcriptions of your favorite song riffs. It's how I learned guitar, except I had to pay for it. So, um, what else? Comments, they're always cool. Likes are always cool. Dislikes are always not cool, but you always have your few bad apples. I know we're dealing with the internet, and that's how life goes, right? Take the good with the bad. The good outweighs the bad big time. And when the bad comes, I notice my subscribers jump on, man. You guys are on them. We're a team. So anyways, watch for my website too, rockinguitarlessons.com. That's coming sometime in 2012. Appreciate you guys. You guys are too cool. 
Um, bring your request in, by the way, at youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. I'll get them out to you. And um, until next time, keep practicing. I got so many requests to get out. We'll talk to you guys later. I got to get out of here because Julian's doing some vocal lessons for you guys. We'll talk to you later.